I love this painting. Yeah. I really enjoyed your friend's comment yesterday. I overheard her saying um, it felt like a carnival. It but feels think, like this to me too. I just like spread out with it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't care what I put there. I used my, my vocabulary, tara, but I was not worried how it was going to connect together. But the problem came mm -hmm. when it got to like tighten it. You know, you just, you can do this area, that area, have fun with the painting. You know, I'm into painting, mm -hmm. the oil, I love oil. But oh, yeah, then my challenge was <laughs> to make it one piece. I know a piece is done when I know there's nothing more I can do. Because mm -hmm. all artists have the impulse like to not to leave it alone. But sometimes yeah. the painting tells you enough. Yeah. So it's more of a feeling. It's a, it's a feeling. I don't really don't think about color as a color. To me is the value. Like I need darker, I need brighter, I need... That's how I think about color. I don't particularly say, oh, I want to use this color. I need this color because I need more light. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. I need darker. Or I, or I need lighter. So I need, like, there's weight in it, you know. I yeah. This is my challenge in this work, really is to make a piece out of different elements, like disparate elements, mm -hmm. just pull them together. So I've been working with charcoal for like 40 years, really. And I do it separately. I work charcoal and I paint. And then one day I just thought about it just like that. Why don't I just draw charcoal on the canvas and figure how it will work with oil? I can draw and then I can paint. This is a new series. When you start these, do you, is there a drawing first? Do you paint first? Or it depends. How do you... The first few paintings I did in this series, I just drew charcoal lines. Some of them I start with, with some gestures and charcoal, and others I added afterwards. This one was like many paintings under it. I, this is my favorite, um, yeah. I think, in the really? whole show. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think it's just because there's so much going on. Yeah. It feels almost like the cosmos. There's something otherworldly yeah, about it. Yeah, it's almost it. like, a, you know, because my, my friend, a painter, shed those drawings, like holding the universe in its mm -hmm. hand. They balance mm -hmm. it. It just holds, the drawings hold it. A uh, really dense color. Yeah. Um, yeah, but and you, like, if you look closely, there's so much painting here. And the colors, there's so much. And I, Neons and, you know, all kinds of things going on. I really enjoy the metallic and it's interesting because like I'm typically drawn to like works with a lot of blue in them. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, that one. I mean, yeah. I that love one. that piece. Yeah, color alone on its own doesn't mean anything. You know, what defines it is the color which is next to it. Yes. I work on areas and that's where I can let go completely. I work on areas, I don't think about the other painting, I'm enjoying this painting this little area there, little painting mm -hmm. here and there and, you know, later I'll have to pull them together, but I enjoy doing separate areas by themselves. In the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. And this kind of work, you cannot work being tight. You have mm -hmm. to, you have to really let go. Be expressive. You have to, you have to let go. Yeah. You cannot control. Now I'm thinking, I already got the canvases. I want to make them, I want to go further. I want to make like three pieces, triptych. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm interested in now, doing mm -hmm. a trip thing. That would I don't be know, maybe a challenge, but we'll see. Okay, all this work now, it tells me how much I know about art now. There's a lot I don't know, but it tells me how much I know as well. And you can see how you grow over the years, how much more you know, you know. When I started making art, I had a little thing, because I didn't start, I was young. For years on my, my, my wall, I had a little piece of paper that says, how much you gonna know more by next year? Mm -hmm. And I had this little paper and then I lost it, moved wherever it was gone. It was on my wall for years.